The Move command in OrCadX has been updated to give you the ultimate control when placing and moving components. You can decide if you want to slide traces when moving components or if you want to rip up the rotted traces, depending on the size and scope of the things you're moving. When moving or placing a component, you typically want to use absolute XY locations or the placement location is relative to something else in the design. With OrCadX, you can do both. In absolute display mode, you are given a dynamic readout telling you the original XY location and the new XY location. You can tab into the heads up display to type in exact XY values if needed, then drop the part with the enter key or your mouse. In relative display mode, the HUD gives you the distance from the original location. You can also type in precision values to drop the part at the desired distance using plus and minus values. If you need to move a component relative to another part or object in the design, you can pick a relative origin. For example, the edge of a component. Now, the relative heads-up display tells you the distance from the point you've picked, letting you precisely drop the part at the desired distance from another object or component. Visually, you can turn on alignment guides to help you line up the components with other components in the design based upon their origin or component boundaries. Finally, you can turn on a temporary relative grid if you need to place components on a grid that is relatively spaced based upon pins of a connector or other objects in the design. These new move features allow you to design quickly with precision in OrCadX.